Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Gold with your weekly trading room update recorded Monday 20th of March Eastern Standard Time 5 minutes to 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Monday the 20th. I've only got the one for you today and if I see any other trading setups throughout the week I'll publish it on Elliott Wave Gold but for now let's have a look at US Oil. US Oil was in this long consolidation with resistance about 55 and support here about 51.5 to about 50.75, a little support zone down here. We got a signal from on balance volume back in here somewhere which told us a downward breakout was more likely, that's exactly what we got. Price broke strongly below prior support of that consolidation on a downward day with very strong volume this day here and then the following day price kept falling with an increase in volume that's a good classic downward breakout. After price has broken out it continued down for a little bit longer and now it looks like it's curving up to find resistance at price support. Now it certainly could continue up a little bit higher the edge of the lower previous support zone which should now be resistance was about 50.75 in the upper edge of price support which would now be resistance about 51.25 so we've got what was a support zone here which should now be a resistance zone we certainly could continue up maybe to see price find resistance at the Fibonacci 21 day moving average that's a short term average I use for oil and so at this stage it's not clear if the small correction is complete but it is getting pretty close to prior support which should now be prior resistance and I have the edge of that at 50.75. While price is bouncing for these days it's come on very light in declining volume and now that's pretty typical for a counter trend movement. It looks quite clear at this stage that oil is in a downward trend, we had a strong movement from price ADX is increasing, it's above 15, it's not yet extreme at 35 and it's not yet above both directional lines. So ADX is telling us we have a downward trend and there's still room for this trend to continue because it hasn't reached extreme yet. While price started to move lower we had some increase in ATR, price is now bouncing in a small correction and so ATR is flattening off at the moment, that's also pretty typical for a consolidation within a trend. We had a strong signal from on balance volume back here that broke below a prior support line back here and then it moved down and away. We don't have enough sideways movement yet in on balance volume to start to draw new trend lines around this movement here and so at this stage it's not going to be any use in giving us any signals at this stage. While price reached new lows, RSI reached oversold and near exhibited single day divergence and now the small bounce of the last couple of days has managed to bring RSI back up out of oversold so there is again a little bit of room for downward movement. RSI when oil trends quite strongly can remain extreme for quite a reasonable period of time. When it's been extreme for a reasonable period of time and exhibits strong divergence with price then we often have a trend change that can develop quite for quite a long time into multiple divergence with price before price finally turns though. So it's a warning, it's not definitive of a trend change. Likewise stochastics can also remain extreme for long periods of time, this one even more so than RSI. At the last low for oil we had single day divergence and stochastics was oversold. The bounce is now bringing stochastics almost back up into neutral territory. There is again a bit of room for price to fall. As price started to move lower, Bollinger Bands widened, volatility returned to the market after a long, long period of very tightly contracting Bollinger Bands and very low volatility. We've now got a trend with volatility returning. So the only question is, is this little bounce over here or is it going to continue up a little higher? Let's have a look at the Elliott Wave count. That's going to be useful for helping us with targets. Elliott Wave Gold members might like to review historic analysis for oil and fit this into the bigger picture. I expect that oil is in a big fourth wave correction. At primary degree it's probably unfolding as a flat. Within a flat the minimum requirement for a B wave is 0.9 the length of the A wave or 90% the length of the A wave. That minimum for this wave count would be at 28.61. The invalidation point for the Elliott wave count is a little bit higher than prior support of this prior long consolidation and so this may be a little bit too high. 
And in other words, I would not expect price is going to get back up close to this invalidation point. I expect price support should now be resistance, should offer quite a lot of resistance and should halt the rise in price if it does continue any higher. If this little bounces over here, then it's nicely in proportion to its counterpart second wave, and we still don't have a complete third wave. The fifth wave of this third wave is coming up, and that may exhibit a really strong downward movement. Oil, typical of commodities, tends to exhibit very strong fifth waves, particularly to end its third wave impulses in either direction, bull or bear. So look out for once minuet 3 and 4 are over, minuet wave 5 may be a very, very strong downward movement. We could also possibly see a very strong end to minuet wave 3 as well. So either of these third waves could end with a selling climax. We'll look out for that possibility. It doesn't have to be like that. But that is quite common for oil, so that might happen. We should be aware of that. If I see any further trading setups throughout the week, I'll publish updates to Trading Room. For now, that's the only one I have enough confidence in to present to you today. That's all for me with your Trading Room update, and I hope that all of our members and viewers had a most fabulous weekend.